offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation. Good day, brothers and sisters. A blessed Christmas to all. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass, the Christmas Day Mass, with the theme, Jesus Christ, God with us. The Mission Communication Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Sanctuary of the Divine Word Chapel of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Christ the King Mission Seminary, E. Rodriguez Sr. Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Bel San Luis, SVD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, a blessed Christmas to all. This is a day we have longed for, and for which we have been preparing during these past four weeks. With hearts full of gratitude, let us offer ourselves totally to the Lord, especially in this Eucharistic celebration we are about to begin. And now, dear brothers and sisters, let us uh, pause for a moment to think of our failings and our sins and ask the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. You came to reveal to us the love of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to bring peace to the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You came to console those who are afflicted and rejected. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it, grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The invitation to break out together in song originally addressed to the exiles before they returned to Jerusalem. It is addressed to us today. God's gift of salvation and peace are offered to all in Jesus Christ. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who bring glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, Your God is King. Hark, your sentinels raise a cry. Together they shout for joy, for they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord comforts his people. He redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Here is a beautiful synthesis of all that we believe about Jesus Christ the eternal Son of God, who became a human being for our salvation. The second reading. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son, whom he made heir of all things, and through whom he created the universe. 
who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now honor the Holy Gospel. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, well, today is uh, Christmas, and, you know, there are many perceptions about this year's Christmas celebration. For example, uh, alam niyo po, may isang negosyante uh, na siya po ay uh, malungkot na malungkot dahil sa itong uh, pandemic at nagsara yung kanyang negosyo. At sabi niya, you know, I'm, I'm walking economy. And he said, how come? The friend said, uh, kasi my hairline is in recession. Uh, ibig sabihin ay naubos na uh, yung kanyang mga buhok dahil nga sa kalungkutan. At sabi niya, my stomach, ang aking chan, are in the state of inflation. And both of these are putting me in depression. 
So, um, yung kaibigan naman niya, sinabi niya, na um, my situation is worse, mas uh, malala, sabi ng kaibigan. Bakit? Kasi yung banko, you know, the bank, my bank account was frozen. And then, uh, it was liquidated. And finally, evaporated. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, these are some <clears throat> uh, perceptions of uh, uh, New Year on, and um, Christmas. The others uh, say, well, um, my father uh, was a victim of the uh, um, <clears throat> typhoon uh, Odette in Surigao. And so uh, it was really very, very um, sorrowful. And uh, the other one says, my brother died of COVID uh, due to um, Delta variant. And our tatay, sabi niya, hindi ho siya nakauwi ng tatlong taon uh, dahil uh, uh, we were in uh, lockdown in South uh, Saudi Arabia. So, my dear brothers and sisters, Christmas would indeed be a lot happier if times were far from calamities, misfortunes, and financial crisis. But Christmas this year and every year will always be happy. And the reason is because Christ, the uh, divine word, came into our world and imagine that from all the planets and the millions of galaxies, God the Father has chosen to send his son to our earth. So he did not send a proxy. He did not send an angel to come into our world, but he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. So tignan ninyo, mga kapatid, oh God loves us. And uh, I hope that uh, we'll always remember this para hindi naman tayo um, mahihirapan na magdiwang sa araw na ito yung pagdating ng ating Panginoon dito sa ating mundo. But today is the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. God the Father gave us the greatest gift and that is His only Son, Jesus Christ. The question is, what is our gift to the birthday celebrant, Jesus? The question is, what gift can we give to our Lord? Well, dear brothers and sisters, our Lord doesn't ask us for material gifts, but the gift of ourselves. So yan po ang gusto ng ating Panginoon. The gift of obedience to His will and the, the commandments. The gift of faith and the gift of love of God and our fellow men. I remember a certain uh, true story about a doctor from France. And this doctor was uh, imprisoned because of murder. And um, it was aggravated by the fact that he tried to escape from prison, but he was again uh, arrested. And he was uh, given the punishment for life inside the uh, penal colony of uh, France. 
But you know, this man who murdered his enemy while he was in prison, he suffered remorse of conscience for his crimes. And in reparation, he uh, devoted the remaining years of his life to cure the sick in the island. When he died at age 72, several hundreds of people gathered to pay their last respects to the men who had done so much to heal their physical illnesses. And so from being a murderer, he became a healer. And to, uh, before the eyes of the people, he was from a sinner to a saint. The greatest gift we can give and learn from this doctor is not material gift that we give to God, but our kindness, our love, our forgiveness for one another, and above all, our conversion from a sinful life. So, dear brothers and sisters, this is the gift that we can give to our Lord and Christmas. At ito na ang pinaka-dakila na um, may bibigay natin at ito ay magbibigay sa atin ng kasiyahan at ang ating uh, pagka magiging um, tapat sa ating Panginoon and yung pagbabago ng ating buhay. And this is a continuing a gift to our Lord, the continuing renewal and conversion from our weaknesses and from our sins. So, my dear brothers and sisters and those who are watching us, I wish you all a blessed Christmas and a happy new year. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth of, of all things, things visible and invisible. And invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son who is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Our hearts are filled with joy this Christmas day when we commemorate and relieve in ourselves the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. With trust-filled heart, let us address our petitions to the Father who gave us his only Son. Let our response be, most loving Father, hear our prayer. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. 
for the Holy Father, our Bishop, the priests who work in our parish and shrine and their generous collaborators, may the joy of this day bring them the strength they need to continue serving the people of God. We pray. Most Lord, loving Father, Father hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for our civil authorities and all those in whose hands is the faith of billions of people. May the, Christi may the Christmas ideals of peace and brotherhood constantly guide their decisions. We pray. Most, Most loving, loving Father, Father hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for our families, especially the ones that may be undergoing severe crisis. May the spirit of Christmas enable them to overcome all difficulties. We pray. Most, Most loving, loving Father, Father hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the thanksgiving of Malu Agkawili, Claire Esguera, Grace Aquino, Cristina Samano, Nemi Alvarez, and Liwayway Mascardo and family. Prayers for healing for Alexander Agawin Jr., Avelino Legaspi, Francisco Ong, Joan Bruan Diapera, Patricia Lian Torres, Olga Lanot, and Claire Esguera and family. And we pray for the eternal repose of the souls of Dominador, Deborah Gaudencio, and Ruth Cabatu, and Jennifer Tan. We pray. Most loving Most Father, Father, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions and all other intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. Lord God, you are the source of our hope and salvation. May this Christmas produce in our hearts a lasting disposition of joy and peace until we celebrate it in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation and this solemn day when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight and inaugurated with the fullness of divine worship, we ask this 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of an ending glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and made them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he said to his blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of our faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. <clears throat> Grant, look, we pray, upon the oblation of the Church and recognizing the sacrificial victim of whose death you will uh, will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain the inheritance with Jesus Christ, and especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, until its constant intercession in your presence may rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Pope Francis, Onesto, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gathered and gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, and your compassion, O merciful Father, gather in yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom you bestow in the world and all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. And now, brothers and sisters, let us pray the prayer of our Lord himself has taught us.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now, dear brothers and sisters, before we uh, offer to one another uh, the sign of peace, um, let us at this part of uh, the Mass to follow what our Lord Jesus Christ had always been teaching, and that is about peace, about unity, and love for one another. And we pray in particular uh, that uh, the wars, uh, especially in uh, Ukraine, may end. Sana po itong birthday uh, gift ng uh, mga presidente ang grasya na magkaroon ng kapepaan. At uh, ganun din, let us pray for uh, our families that uh, there be uh, also uh, peace, love, and uh, respect for one another. And it is uh, by this that uh, we will be able to have really happy and truly uh, a caring and loving family. So let us uh, pray for this special intention uh, on Christmas Day. So now let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Brother. Peace be peace. with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Merry Christmas. Brothers and sisters, seers of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the form of bread and wine, our spiritual, our spiritual strength, happy are we who are invited to partake of this heavenly banquet. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should, you should enter, enter under, under my room, roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul Lord. shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us free from eternal life. Amen. Amen.
for grace amid transition. Almighty and ever-living God, we pray for the courage and compassion to embrace new beginnings and rise from any crisis. We continue to ask for your protection and guidance so that with your healing hand, we may overcome every effect of this pandemic and any other crisis that may cross our path. Guide our health workers so that your healing love and strength may flow through their hands. Guide our leaders so that truth and empathy may be the measure of their service. Guide our spiritual frontliners so that they may help us find fervor and courage to spread God's love and peace amid the chaos and suffering. May your church be a sign of hope, comfort, and love to all, even during the dark times of our history, as we embrace this changed world and go into the future. We implore you to fill our hearts and be one with you more than ever. We look forward renewed and strengthened to celebrate for whatever lies ahead. For it is only by your grace, Lord, and the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary that we can pursue all these endings and beginnings. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. God, our Creator, we offer you this humble prayer on Christmas and New Year's Day as one family. We come to worship you, to pray for happiness and blessings. We pray for joy in our hearts, hope in our God, love to forgive, and peace upon the earth. We ask for the safety and protection of all our family members and friends, and we pray your guidance on all people. May there be bread for the hungry, love for the unlovable, healing for the sick, protection for our children, and wisdom for our youth. We pray for forgiveness and abundant life from this day on and the years to come. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Grant to merciful God that just as the Savior of the world born this day is the author of the divine generation for us, so he may be the giver even of immortality, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Before the uh, final blessing, um, <clears throat> we'd like to uh, acknowledge um, the following and also uh, to make an uh, appeal. So, um, First of all, we'd like to uh, uh, thank our uh, rector of Christ the King Mission Seminary, uh, Reverend uh, Pablito Tagura SVD. So uh, we thank him. And by the way, we'd like to uh, inform uh, everybody that uh, our rector Reverend Pablito Tagura, SBD, has been uh, appointed as uh, bishop of the uh, <clears throat> of the vicariate of uh, San Jose Occidental Mendoro. So uh, uh, we congratulate uh, our new uh, we congratulate our new bishop. Um, Father Ablito Tagura, SPD. And uh, we thank uh, the commentator over here, Sister uh, Grace uh, Bautista. So, thank you. At saka itong uh, balikbayan natin dito sa ating uh, <coughs> uh, um, Family TV Mass uh, uh, none other than uh, 
as Sister Daryl Ibarra and Brother Nino Versosa. We thank our sponsors, donors, and benefactors, our televiewers, and online, online audience. Uh, after this uh, um, Simbang Gabi, we will resume the uh, St. Jude to the Youth Novena Mass every Thursday at 6 uh, in the evening. So this is live streaming at Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word YouTube channel. Then um, would like to make an appeal uh, again um, for assistance to our seminarians who are studying here in Christ the King Seminary. At, um, um, as uh, our uh, gift also to the church, uh, we pray that uh, you will uh, help us, uh, especially since um, the parents of some seminarians uh, have been <clears throat> affected by the uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So if you wish to uh, give, uh, well, you can send uh, to uh, myself, Father Isabella San Luis, and my bank account is 000 22 Zero zero five one six two three, and uh, you may email me also at bellsvd at gmail dot com. Now, for our family TV mass, may we also appeal for your help, love offerings and intentions. You may send in your prayer thanksgiving. Uh, healing, good health, financial recoveries, and blessings in others. At, uh, you may inquire at email mcfisvd at gmail.com. Contact person for the TV Mass and Adopt a Seminarian is uh, our Brian DeGito over here. So, uh, uh, you may uh, also call him at uh, um, <clears throat> mobile phone 0961-811-8766. So uh, I wish to thank you all. And uh, again, um, greeting you all. A uh, very, very blessed Christmas. Let us pray. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. When he came to us as men, the Son of God scattered the darkness of this world and filled this holy day with the glory, and may he scatter the darkness of sin and brighten your hearts and holiness. Amen. God send his angels to shepherd, to herald the great joy of our Savior's birth. May he fill you with joy and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. When the word became man, earth was joined to heaven. May he give you his peace and goodwill and fellowship with all the heavenly hosts. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go and share the joy of Christmas with all you meet. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
This Family TV Mass was offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation.